He is no longer a Canadian citizen and he has a criminal record. But tonight, CBC News has confirmed that when Conrad Black walks out of a Florida prison, he'll be welcome to come back to Canada. Black is set to be released later this week and his impending homecoming is prompting cries of hypocrisy. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky has the story for us tonight. Terry. Well, Peter, as soon as word spread here that Conrad Black has a temporary permit to come back to Canada, the government was accused of giving a special deal to a conservative felon. Conrad Black, of course, is no longer a Canadian citizen, having ditched his citizenship a decade ago. He did that to obtain a British peerage, which is why he is Lord Black of Cross Harbour, as well as a convicted felon. But he's always wanted to come back to Canada. I hope that... Uh will get an agreement for me to go back to Canada. Now Black has a one-year permit to live in Canada and he does own a mansion in Toronto. But the opposition smells a sweet deal for a rich conservative. The NDP pointed to the case of a black American citizen, Gary Freeman, who did 30 days in jail in the U.S. for wounding a policeman 40 years ago and is not allowed to visit his family in Canada. We just learned that the British criminal Conrad Black is going to be allowed in despite serving a second term in federal American penitentiary. Why the double standard? Matters uh, such as this are a matter of personal privacy. I cannot comment on specific cases. The immigration minister said he couldn't talk about it, but he did say he did not interfere with Black's application. Mr. Speaker, we believe decisions on admissibility should be made by public servants, not by politicians. The minister added that Conrad Black is just one of thousands of foreigners with criminal records who do get temporary residence permits every year. What he didn't say is that while Black is no lefty, he's hardly a fan of this conservative government. I really take violent disagreement with the... Harper government. Uh... Black is bitterly opposed to the government's policy on crime, and he's not quiet about it. This is not only is it squandering money for prisons that don't need to be built uh, on this basis of build and they will come. I think it's going to be somewhat ironic because if Conrad Black comes back, uh, given his uh, critique of the uh, Conservatives' criminal justice policy after a while, they may be sorry that he is back. Plus, even with the collapse of his business empire, Black says he still has about $80 million left, so he'll have time and leisure to write and to consider whether he wants to try to get his citizenship back as well. Peter. All right, Terry, thanks very much. Terry Malofsky in Ottawa tonight.